Dr. Douglas Robinson, Campbell Podiatry. I'm going to demonstrate a fifth metatarsal avulsion fracture, what's involved with it and how we treat that. So one and a half weeks ago, this person was just walking in the neighborhood and twisted his foot in like this, which is called a supination injury. Supination means that the foot is turning in. It torques the, either the ankle or this bone right here called the fifth metatarsal. So there's five long bones in the foot called metatarsals. And there's a tendon called the peroneus brevis that is stronger than the base of that uh, bone, especially if you've got osteopenia, and this person does. So what happened is this foot twisted in and this bone at the base fractured. And you can see how swollen this foot is compared to this. This one you have positive wrinkling. See how easy everything wrinkles here? This one, things are pretty tight because gravity always seeks the lowest level. So when you have a fracture, you're gonna get a lot of swelling. You don't always get bruising. Uh, this guy has a little bit of bruising just right here. So every step is hurting. And this is the bone that broke. You'll see in actually in just a minute, but let me just show you. This is called the fifth metatarsal bone. It's opposed by this tendon called the peroneus brevis. And at the base here, this is where he broke it, right across here. So if you come over here, fifth metatarsal, uh, left foot, and he broke it right across this area here. It is not displaced, meaning it's still in good alignment, but it is a bicortical fracture, meaning that it bone broke all the way across. If you don't treat this, this will separate and become a bigger problem and may need surgery because every step you take, this tendon is always pulling on that bone. This person does have osteopenia. I saw that on the x-ray. You'll see it, it's kind of washed out. So we'd have to do a supplement for that as well. So I'm gonna supercharge his ability to heal by doing two things. One is we're gonna immobilize him with a cast boot. So he'll wear this with all walking. When he drives or is just mulling around the home, you don't need as much protection, but you still do need protection. So this is called a surgical shoe or trauma shoe. It is stiff. So it prevents this from flexing excessively so that bone can heal. So when he's getting the car driving, this is something you can drive with. It doesn't bend, doesn't twist. But when he's out and about shopping, when, when um, you're, you're, you're doing anything outside of the home, that cast boot is gonna help hold this and help that bone to heal. The supplement is a vitamin D3, magnesium, zinc, and calcium supplement that's much more robust than just taking vitamin D3 and calcium. So we're gonna do that through a company called Evidence-Based Medicine, EBM. It's a mail order compounded uh, supplement to really help supercharge this fracture to heal. We're also going to use a stocking to compress this the stocking's gonna go from the toes to up to this area so we can help milk out the swelling. Elevation helps this. And the overall umbrella of fixing this is price. You protect it, you rest it, compress it, elevate, and that's what price is. And you temper activities. So that's what we're gonna put in place for this person so we can heal this fifth metatarsal avulsion fracture. It's a tuberosity fracture, non-displaced. Will take six to eight weeks to heal if he's compliant. And I think he's gonna be really, really compliant. So that's how we heal this type of a fracture. I'm Dr. Douglas Robinson. Please take care of yourself and each other.